years after a man was shot and killed in a Pasco County theater, his widow is making sure children who are victims of gun violence know that they're not alone. Nicole Olson is raising money to provide vital assistance to those families through the foundation she established, and she's getting ready for a major fundraiser. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer joins us live in Tampa tonight. And Aaron, how was the Olson family doing almost a decade after the shooting? Yeah, Haley, uh, Nicole Olson says, you know, almost a decade later, there are still moments of heartbreak uh, and grief that, that are just unavoidable. But that's when this family turns its attention to helping others. Nine and a half years ago, a single gunshot shattered Nicole Olson's family. Sometimes looking back, it seems like yesterday, and other times it feels like, you know, so long ago. It was 2014, and Nicole and her husband, Chad Olson, were at the movies. An argument broke out between Chad and Curtis Reeves, a retired Tampa police captain, because Chad was texting in the theater. Security video shows Reeves firing one shot that killed Chad. The Olson's daughter, Lexi, wasn't even two years old at the time and was at home. She was too young at the time to understand it all, but now she also doesn't have any of her own memories of her dad, so I have to continue his legacy. Nicole is doing that through her charity, the Olson Family Foundation. That's our focus every day and getting my daughter involved and giving back to the community. The nonprofit raises money for children affected by gun violence and is preparing for its second golf tournament fundraiser next month. I've seen firsthand what my daughter went through and going from two incomes down to one income and the challenges of medical bills and um, counseling and you know education assistance and things like that, it, it's hard. And there are moments when the pain returns, like Reeves' trial last year when a jury acquitted him on all charges. Reeves, who was 71 at the time, had argued he felt threatened by the younger Olson as the encounter escalated. I don't know that I will ever accept it or be okay with it, but I can't dwell on it. I can't not live my life and not give Lexi what she deserves. So Nicole and her daughter choose to leave the past behind them, instead focusing on helping others who share a trauma that can only be understood by those who lost loved ones the way Lexi lost her dad. That's what Chad would want. I know he would not want us to focus on the negative and the bad and dwell and be sad and unhappy. He would want us to go out and make something good of this. And the Olson Family Foundation's golf tournament is going to take place September 25th at the golf course in Cheval. That's in Lutz. And we're going to have a link on our website, fox13news.com. Yeah, we they, they have certainly been through something that uh, no family ever wants to go through. I'd love to see them uh, get lots of support to help other families like them, especially the kids, um, just try to move forward like they sure. have. All right, Aaron, thank you.